Hi, this is Jeff. Uh, in this video I want to show you how to edit the Christmas card templates in Photoshop Elements. I went through and converted all the smart objects in the um, Photoshop templates that I released earlier this year so that they work in uh, Photoshop Elements. Um, it, th these no longer use Photoshop uh, smart objects. Um, making it easier to edit in Photoshop Elements. So I'm just going to open up uh, a template and uh, pretty much you can edit anything that you would like. Um, oh, first off let me say once you open these if your Photoshop Elements starts off in quick in quick mode you want to click on Expert so that you can see the layers. That way you can see the different masks that I put in here and then you can uh, go and go ahead and cl um, edit these images how you would like. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. I have a folder of some images here and uh, they're fairly high resolution. You should make sure that yours are probably a little bit higher resolution than this but I'm just going to go and uh, open them up in, in elements real quick. And then I'm just going to click, uh, oh by the way I'm in uh, Windows, so this is a PC so I'm clicking on Control All and, or Control A for select all and then Control C for copy and then I'm going to go back to my template and I'm going to paste it over this left photo to paste it into a new layer and then you can see that it's outside of that mask. So I'm going to move it in the general vicinity and then you can just size it how you would like over that mask. Click the check mark and then drag this layer down underneath and then you can either delete or just uncheck this box so that this layer is not visible anymore. Now your image is uh, perfect perfectly under that mask. So you can do that for both. Um, like I said, the text is uh, fully edit editable and I give you a list of the fonts underneath this post so that you can download those and use the same ones. Uh, these are all free fonts by the way. Um, if you're not happy with the the background pattern, say that you want to change it or use a uh, something else. Uh, <clears throat> this pattern uses a free pattern that I'm giving away on my site under free Photoshop patterns. Basically you'll need to download that and uh, you'll get a uh, .ptn uh, file that you can install into Photoshop Elements and uh, you'll need to install that to change change the style of this. Um, I've gone gone ahead and installed those patterns already um, and how you do that is going to your presets folder for Photoshop Elements and that's under basically click on your computer selecting the C folder and then going to your user uh, going to users your username app data Roaming, Adobe, Photoshop Elements, and then your version of Photoshop Elements, and then going into Presets, and that will take you into this folder where you can uh, find the Patterns folder, and then you'll want to uh, basically just copy and paste um, the patterns that I'm giving away in that in that uh, that blog post into your patterns folder. You might need to restart Photoshop Elements to see them, but once you do once you do that you can click on the background pattern and then how to change that is you need to go to um, create new fill or adjustment layer, this circle with uh, um, yeah this one, this circle icon and then go to pattern and then that will bring up all your patterns so you'll be able to see 
all the new patterns that you just loaded. So you can change that to however you would like. And then you can scale it to fit how you would like it. So if you didn't know how to do that, hopefully that explains it. Um, it is a little bit trickier in uh, Photoshop Elements than just loading them into Photoshop. But I know a lot of people use Photoshop Elements, so um, that's why I converted these over. But uh, And of course, if you have more family members and you type out something longer, you can resize this. If you hold down the Alt, the Alt button in Windows, you can change it like that. Uh, and then of course edit the text how you need. But pretty much uh, that's how you edit the templates in Photoshop Elements. Um, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments section and I'll try to help. Alright, I hope that was uh, useful and uh, again have a good day. Bye.